going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Pokemon Black, Amy's fifth journey through the world of Pokemon. Last time we were here in Chargestone Cave. We obviously met up with Bianca and Professor Juniper, who seem very squirrely at this moment. Uh, and we met a bunch of new Pokemon as well uh, in this cave, like Clink and Tynamo and uh, Phariseed. Mm. Okay. Um, Phariseed was the only one that Amy seemed kind of interested possibly in catching, but maybe not. Uh, and we said that at the beginning of this episode we were going to move on. So, Amy, the question is, are we going up or down? Uh, up. Whoops. We'll talk to this guy. Oh, first we run into a wild... Ooh, what's this thing? Jolt tick. Oh, an electric tick. Correct. It's kind of cute, but ticks are the worst. Um, but also we're almost dead. Correct. <clears throat> Let's uh bring in Crocorock. Daramaka comes out. Crocorock comes in. Joltik used Slash. Okay. Well, maybe we should try to catch this thing, because I feel like we haven't caught a lot of Pokemon. Sure. Um, let's bite it. Bite hits and does a little over half. It used Gastro Acid. Ew. And your ability was suppressed. Oh. Um... Fight or throw a ball? I think we have to throw a ball. <laughs> okay. You've got net ball, ultra ball, quick ball, timer ball, great ball, premier ball, heal ball, or pokeball. Maybe we try to use an ultra ball because it's still in the yellow. Okay. Or I don't know if that makes sense. It's up to you. Um... You can use an Ultra Ball if you want to. I mean, <clears throat> it's a level 27. It's a little tick. Uh, you know, it's a... What what type is it? Uh, electric. And? Oh, uh, bug. That's right. I didn't think of that. So maybe... Something? I don't know. <laughs> uh... Uh, uh. Wow. Wh what? Oh, okay. So ground is going to be neutral then. Okay. I'm thinking it's going to be super effective. Oh, I see. But still, I mean, it's past half. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I was, I was really trying to let you figure it out on your own, but... The netball works on bug and water type Pokemon. Oh. It's up to you whether you want to use that or an ultra, a great, or a Pokemon. I only but... remembered it worked on water types. I didn't remember it worked on bug types. Yeah, a somewhat different Pokemon that works especially well on water and bug type Pokemon. Which makes sense. Correct. All right, let's use it. Okay. Yeah, because we used the last one uh, on Dwebble. Yeah. So, netball... One, two, three. Wow. Gotcha. Joltik was caught. Cool. Its data was added to the Pokedex. Joltik, the attaching Pokemon, hmm. is a bug electric type. It is four inches tall and weighs 1.3 pounds. Ew. Joltik that live in cities have learned a technique for sucking electricity from the outlets in houses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they stick those little mouth feelers in there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that, right? Gross. No nickname, and it will go to the PC. Okay. Thanks, Joel Tech. All right, uh, you've got a hiker next. Do you want to switch up who's in front, maybe? Uh, Yeah. Oh god, that was... No, no, no! Well, 
I guess we're leaving. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, uh, Darumaka, why? <laughs> Fine, I'll go to the stupid house to heal. It's yeah, just... it makes sense to do that right uh, now anyways. God damn it. Well, the co It's a deerling, level 24. We'll use a fire punch. Uh, the question actually is, do you want to go to the center and try to get your new Joltik? Try to get it? No, but to add it to your look team. at it? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm adding it to the team. Okay. Uh, okay. Did Fire Punch missed, I guess? Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It leached, er, yeah, it leech seeded, seeded us, yeah. and then it took us down to five, and okay. now we're, we're dead. Who's coming in? Um. You want to try to uh, bug attack it with Dwebble? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> I mean, worst comes to worst, we'll throw pig, or, uh, yeah, pig Knight in here, but I'm not too worried about it. No. Uh, bug Bite. Dealing used Leech Seed again. Good. <clears throat> We're at high enough level where that won't matter as much, and hopefully Bug Bite will do a decent amount. In fact, it kills it. Thank Good. you very much. 272 <clears throat> for Dwebble. That's it? All right, fine. We'll heal up at the house first, and then we can go check out your Jill Tick. Okay. Um. Damn it. It's a wild Carablast. Mm. But you've got Darumaka up top still. What will we do? <clears throat> we can fire punch I thought about using fire and then I didn't want to say that so I want to check my chart first sure you gain 197 all right uh, we run into a wild tranquil hmm it's a flying type. Fight or switch. <clears throat> Sorry, I was drinking water. Um, <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's switch. Two. Oh, it is a level twenty-three though. Mm -hmm. Probably could do something. It's up to you. Yeah, I kind of don't care. Um, let's do... We'll use Fire Punch on this, too. Why not? Quick Attack. Does 18 damage to you on a crit. Fire Punch hits. And you finish it off in one. Tranquil wow. Faints. Darumaka I was not being... expecting that. Oh, I was. Your Darumaka is extremely strong and has been crushing everything in its path since you got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. It's very good. <laughs> okay. I think it was 439. Oh, okay. All right. So we are back in Drift Vale. I ran way past the Pokemon Center doors. <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, we <laughs> will heal quickly. And then we can check out the Joltik that you got. Yay. See what kind of moves it has, what nature it is, etc. Okay. Um, go to Amanita's PC. Go to Move Pokemon. And we've got Joltik. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, no, not Move. My bad. Summary. So, it is the bashful nature. Oh. It has 65 HP. 34 attack, 39 defense, 40 special attack, 38 special defense, and 41 speed. So what does the nature do? Because I don't see anything outlined. That's right. So it is a neutral nature. Oh. Meaning if it's defense, for example, because I don't know which it is offhand. But if it's defense, for example, it means it ups and lowers your defense, which means it's oh. neutral. Dumb. Yeah. Okay. Your ability is compound eyes, so your accuracy is boosted 
because of your compound eyes. That's cool. And your moves are Electro Web, which is 55 power, 95 accuracy uh, special move. The user captures and attacks opposing Pokemon by using an electric net. It reduces the target's speed stat. Cool. Bug Bite, which you know about because yes. you have it on your other two of your other Pokemon as well. 60 power, 100 accuracy, and it will eat an opponent's berry and gain its effect if your opponent has a berry. Okay. Gastro Acid. The user hurls up its stomach acids on the target. The fluid eliminates the effect of the target's ability. It's so gross. It's very gross. And Slash. 70 power, 100 accuracy, physical move, Crits land more easily with this move. Mm. Okay. These are kind of interesting moves, um, and it's a cute Pokemon. I'm not interested in adding it to my team, I don't think. Okay. Um, but I'm happy I caught it. Okay. Um, he moves around a lot. <laughs> she does. She does. She is a she-tick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and, um, okay. What do you think this thing might evolve into? A, a tick that drank blood already? That drank blood already? Well, well, I guess it's electricity in this. Okay, so it'll be a, it would be a bigger tick, basically. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. That's full of electricity. <laughs> okay. It's like coming off of it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad that you like that you caught this gel tick. I, I can tell you. I thought I, ju I just looked this up. Um, I can tell you that you would need to wait like nine levels for this thing to evolve. So. So no, we're not doing it. Okay. Uh, so we leave gel tick behind. And we will go about our journey. Now, my question for you is, yes. before we, like, really go along and do stuff, um, Darumaka is up at the top and is level 30. Do we uh, want to switch Darumaka from the top at all? Yes. We'll put Dwebble up front. Okay. And then Krakarok in spot number two. Okay. And then Simisage is your level 31. <clears throat> and everybody else is level 30. Yes. Okay. Great. I'll let us keep listening to this cool music. It is very cool. But now it changes. And now two steps into this grass, we find another Carablast. Thankfully, we've got Dwebble. Which means... We're going to use Bug Bite. No. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> but that would be fun, right? Oh, yeah. Tons of fun. Sitting here forever. Uh, <laughs> I guess we can use Rock Tomb, because we really don't need to waste a Smackdown on a level 24 bug. Well, it used Endure. Oh. But we use Rock Tomb, and it's not like the other move would have done more. It's super effective critting it, but it endures the hit, because that's what Endure does. Right. And it's Speed Fell. Okay. Let's use... Does Faint Attack do damage? Yep. Okay, let's use Faint Attack. In fact, it is 60 power never misses, if I recall correctly, that Ooh. faint attack. But Carablast faints, Dwebble gain 256, and off we go. Uh, in fact, I guess we can get back in the... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was quite the hiccup. That was it's funny. Swadloon. Ah. Level 23. Okay. Um... Well, this thing... Uh-huh. Is going to get hit with... Mm -hmm. A bug bite. Okay. And I actually mean it this way. You got it. <laughs> I'm not actually joking. It'll, uh, it used protect. And so obviously bug bite doesn't work. Try again. Yes. It used protect, but it failed the second time. Huh. Bug bite hits and is super effective. But it doesn't kill it in one. Did not kill in one. I will use faint attack again, please. You use faint attack. It does kill. 
Swadloon faints. Dwebble gained 494, and we move on. Great. Whoops, sorry, Parasol Lady. Oh god, sorry, researcher. Okay. <laughs> we actually were going pretty well there for a while. I was surprised. It's a Carablast. We'll do Rock Tomb again? Yeah. You got it. Dwebble comes in. Rock Tomb. Yeah, this one's a level 22, so it'll definitely kill if it doesn't use Endure. Well, Rock Tomb and Fury Attack missed in the first turn, but then in the second turn it killed. You gain 213, and we move on. Yay. Let's keep going. You find a wild. You find a wild dealing. <sighs> you want to just use super effective stuff against everything? <clears throat> yeah. All right. So, bug bite. Because we're just trying to get back to the cave. Double kick. It was hurt by the rocky helmet. Hits twice. Hurt by the rocky helmet each time. Ooh. And it hit twice. Bug bite. Finishes it off. Super effective. Nice. Deerling faints. Dwell will gain 226 and is level 29. Yes. Okay. Here are your pluses. <clears throat> okay. Not as exciting as the leveling, but right. that's fine. Yep. 75 HP, 57 attack, 55 defense, 28 special attack, 26 special defense, and 39 speed. Okay. Um... And Dwebel wants to learn Rock Slide. Ooh. Should a move be deleted or replaced with Rock Slide? Yes. So, uh, Rock Tomb. Oh, sorry. I guess we should look at Rock Slide first. Rock Slide is 75 power, 90 accuracy, physical move. Large boulders are hurled at the opposing team to inflict damage. It may also make the targets flinch. Nice. Okay. Uh, and you've got Rock Tomb, 50 power, 80 accuracy also lowers speed. And yeah, I think I would replace that with it. Okay. Yeah, because SmackDown <laughs> is 50 power, 100 accuracy. Um, so it doesn't reduce speed. Obviously, it knocks a flying Pokemon to the ground. Yeah. Um, but it's 20 more accuracy than Rock Tomb. Right. Um, but the same power. Oh, okay. And has five more power points as well. Okay. So you'll get rid of Rock Tomb for Rock Slide. Yeah. Okay. One, two, and ta-da! Dwebble forgot how to use Rock Tomb, and Dwebble learned Rock Slide. Cool. Very nice. Um, okay. Wow. Three steps. You find a wild deerling again. Level 23. Dwebble comes in. Deerling was faster than us last time. Double kick again. Does a little bit. Takes Rocky Helmet. Does a little bit more. Takes more Rocky. Oh, that was a crit. Takes more Rocky Helmet. Okay. Bug Bite hits. And again, finishes off the Deerling in one. Super Yay. effective. 239. Very nice. Um, all right. So when we get up here, we'll go to the house really quickly because Dwebel has taken some damage. It's important to heal off that nonsense. <clears throat> okay. And we can actually finally get back to the cave. Wow. Wow. Fungus. God damn it. First step. I like I was like, okay, I'm not on the bike, I'm not running, so it'll be less likely that we run into a Pokemon here. But sure enough, here's Fungus. Bug Bite does not finish it off and it paralyzes us. It ingrains to regain some health. <clears throat> and we bug bite again. It tries to ingrain again, because it's a very silly Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. 211 for us. Alright. Really? Two steps? Really? It's a deerling. It's a dance. <sighs> two step. Yeah. Oh, and I, I kind of... I had debated whether I would go back and heal off the paralysis at the house. Hurt by the Rocky Helmet, hurt by the Rocky Helmet, hit twice, bug bite kills, because that's what it's been every other time as well. Goodbye, Deerling. Thanks for playing. 217. Fine. 
I made it. Alright, beautiful. We are fully healed. And then... Yes, we did it! Okay. We're back to the cave. <sighs> we run into a wild... Joltik again. Level 24. We have uh, Dwebble. What will we use? Um... Checking your chart. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Okay. Yeah, I always forget. Electric only has one plus on the entire chart. Um, mm. You know, Bug has three. Yeah. But <laughs> Electric has one. Yep. Um. So. Yeah. Let's use. Um. Let's try out Rock Slide. It's new. You got it. Bolt Bug Bite first. It's faster. Does 10 damage, and it's hurt by the Rocky Helmet. And then it gets hit by the Rock Slide. And finishes it off. Super effective. Joltik faints. Bye, Joltik. <laughs> Dwebble gain 250. Oh. What's that? It's a normal gem. What's that? So, same as the Poison Gem. It strengthens a normal type move one time. And it's a held item. It's a clink. We've got Dwebble. What will we do with Dwebble against a steel type? Well, <clears throat> that's a good question. Uh, we will... Um, <laughs> well... I can't even use anything neutral. There's so many minuses in the steel column. Yep. It's the dumbest shit. Yep. Um... <sighs> well, <laughs> I guess we'll switch out to to basically anybody but Dwebble. Okay. Uh, no, we've got Croc Rock, which is ground, so that'll work. Yeah. You got it. That's who we want, because Croc Rock needs leveling. All right. Well, you've got two ground type choices. Oh, Clink used Bind, but we avoided it. Uh, bulldoze, the new Bulldoze, or back to Sand Tomb. Bulldoze. Okay. I think first time you're using Bulldoze, finishes it off in one. Super effective, that was a crit, and Clink faints, and you get a Moxie boost that is irrelevant to raise your attack. 139 and 139. We're always getting irrelevant Moxie boosts. Yeah, well, it's wild Pokemon for you. But at least we have Moxie. <laughs> That's right. That's what matters. I was going to say, nobody can take that away from you. Exactly. It's a wild Pharisee. <laughs> oh, good. Level 25. Good. So you get another chance at it. Yeah. But now the question is, fight with not very effective moves or switch? Not very effective or, moves. Actually, I was going to say, Bug Bite would be neutral, I suppose. All right, let's try that. We probably talked about this last time, too, but... That was last week. Who remembers? Uh, <laughs> Iron Barbs hurts us. Metal Claw. <gasps> Ooh. It's super effective, and it's Attack Rose. And it was hurt by the Rocky Helmet, so now it's in the yellow. Damn it. I wanted to hit it one more time with that and get yep. it in the red. Yep. But now I can't. Correct. Do we have a Steel Ball? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we have... Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, Premier Ball, Heal Ball, Great Ball, Timer Ball, and Pokeball. You could catch it with a Premier Ball. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. One, two, three. Oh, I really thought it stayed in. Metal Claw again. 
kills Dwebble, super effective, hurt by the rocky helmet, so it takes a little bit more damage. Good. Maybe it'll stay in a Pokeball. So who comes in for us uh, to throw balls? Rock. I. That makes me so sad, man. Premier Ball is genuinely my favorite type of Pokeball. Why? What like what is special about it? Please explain it to me. It literally says you can only get Premier Balls by buying 10 Pokeballs. Okay. And then you get a Premier Ball for free from the shop. Okay. It says it's to commemorate some event. Um, and it's literally just a Pokeball, but reversed. So every spot where like the where the Pokeball would be red, it's white. Uh, on the top and bottom, and in the middle, it's red. It literally is just like a palette swapped Pokeball, basically. Okay. That's it. That's it. Mm hmm. Okay. It's my favorite. It's quirky. Oh, okay. So I like it. Quirk ball? Quirk ball. No, that's quick ball. <laughs> that is quick ball. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Um, <clears throat> Pokeball, please. Okay. Yeah, I think genuinely. That Premier Ball has a lower catch rate possibility than a Pokeball. Uh -huh. One, two, three. You did it. But again, for the Premier Ball, that just means that if you do catch a Pokemon in a Premier Ball, it's just that much more skillful of you to have done so. So I like trying to challenge myself to catch Pokemon in, in Premier Balls. But here is Ferris Seed, the Thorn Seed Pokemon. It is, in fact, the Grass Steel type. It is two feet tall and weighs 41.4 pounds. Jesus Christ. When threatened, it it's attacks by shooting... I'm sorry? It's a toddler. Yeah, basically, with spikes all over it. When threatened, it attacks by shooting a barrage of spikes, which give it a chance to escape by rolling away. And well, if you notice, he doesn't know how to walk yet. <laughs> <laughs> and if you notice, it does not have a footprint. Because it doesn't have feet. <laughs> yep. I thought maybe like the spike on the bottom would be mm. like a thing that they sure. would put there, but nope. <clears throat> All right. Uh. Well. This is... Okay. You're just going to go on without Dwebble, basically. Unless you want to revive it and try to heal it up. Yeah. Okay. Um, ugh. Really? It's a wild clink. Alright, so of all the Pokemon that you've seen in here so far, like, you had debated catching Tynamo, but, um, but, f you know, didn't get to last time. Do you still want to try that if you come across another one? Or are you good? Um, or am I wrong? Did you not try to catch Tano? Maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering. I don't Oh, was that the sperm? Yes. Yeah, I tried to catch it. I don't know. If we see another one, maybe uh, Okay. I don't know. Cause you weren't interested in Clink. <clears throat> no. Okay. And you got yourself a gel tick, but you're not interested in waiting the number of levels that you would need to wait for it to uh, ev evolve. Right. Um, but now you have also caught uh, a Pharisee, and you had originally said you might be interested to see what it evolves into, but you weren't sure if you were willing to wait for that either. Correct? Um... I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Uh, all right, so I believe... I trust you. <laughs> I believe before I accidentally used Dig, we were... We had just... We hadn't beaten this hiker yet? We had not. I'm a hiker exploring caves. I'll teach you the harshness of life and the difficulty of Pokemon battles. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Amy. I feel like I've, I've learned that already, but whatever, bro. It's Hiker Hardy. And he has Boldor. Oh. Okay. What does Boldor look like, Amy? Uh, pussy? <sighs> <laughs> that is definitely not what I was asking. Oh, okay. <sighs> uh, crab? If you had to guess what this evolves from, do you have a guess? No. Oh, um... The uh, the thing with the butthole. Yes. 
So apparently, according to you, a butthole evolves into a pussy. I would say that's an evolution. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on from that topic of conversation. Okay. What are we doing against this Boldor? I mean, I guess it's a rock type. The the rock and roller was a rock type, so. So. This thing's name is basically Boulder, so yes. It's, yeah, it's let's type. bulldoze it. You got it. Bulldoze the Boulder. Does well over half, in fact, probably two thirds, and its speed falls. It uses mud slap and drops your accuracy as well. Oh. Let's try to catch it. It's your, uh, this is the hiker's Pokemon. Oh, damn it. But I wanted the pussy. Well, you can evolve your Rog and Rolla. Oh. You gotta work the butthole to get to the pussy, Amy. I'm just saying. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I, I was unaware of the. Okay, well, it's I'm, not what I signed up for, I'm but I'll, uh, you know, I'll try it. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Let's please. use Bulldoze. Okay, I was like, please just say the name of a move, for the <laughs> love of God. It's got fingernails, though. <sighs> Bulldoze faints. Krakorok has a Moxie boost, which is actually relevant this time because he has a second Pokemon, Girder. Oh, Girder. It's been a while. It has. Will you switch? Um, well, we will not switch. No. Okay, here is Girder. And we will bulldoze this as well. You are faster, you have your attack boost, it does that much and lowers its speed. It used Wake Up Slap. Oh. Which does 62 damage to you. It is super effective. Is it faster? No. No. In fact, we lowered its speed, but we were also faster than it before that. Okay. So let's do it again. But it didn't do half. It won't kill it. I, I know. Oh. Okay. All right. You use Bulldoze. It lives. You lower its speed, and then it kills you with a rock throw. Croc Rock faints. Who's next? Uh, let's put Darumaka back in. It's Darumaka's turn. What level is it at? 30. Okay. Um, we can just use strength here. It hits. And finishes it off. Girder faints. Darumaka gained 947, and you beat Hiker Hardy. Well, guess I'll take a hike. You got $832 for winning. Yeah, go take a hike. In the caves, Pokemon lurk in the piles of dirt. You learned that already. Yeah. He keeps trying to teach us things we already know. <laughs> um, so we can't go that way. But is Darumaka up front now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Yep, Darumaka is in the front because your other two Pokemon have fainted. And now down you go to this area Ooh. with a little bridge. Hi, ninjas. Dot, dot, dot. They're the Shadow Triad, if you recall. Nope, I did not. Come. So I'm not doing any of that. They did that. There are stairs going down ahead. Team Plasma is waiting for you there. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, I guess. You found a Hyper Potion! There's a researcher here. And we already said Darumaka's in front. Sorry, I forgot. But first you run into a wild... Clink! Level 25. Clinky, Linky. That's right. Fire punch! It hits. And you know what that means. That's one dead Clink. Clink faints. Darumaka gained 246. Ooh, so close! So close. In fact, I'm genuinely curious. 
How close are you? 16 away. <laughs> Alright. I like it. <clears throat> I love this place. The electricity charges up my inspiration. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's... Scientist Naoko with Clink. Okay. Le level 29. You do need inspiration if your Pokemon is Clink. Wow. Fire Punch. She used an X special on Clink to raise its special attack, and then we punch it with a fiery fist and kill it in one super effective. Way to waste an item, lady. 504 experience, and you are level 31. Yes! There are your pluses. Okay, fine. 91 HP. Jesus Christ. 69 attack. Very nice. 44 defense, 15 special attack, 36 special defense, and 38 speed. Okie doke. And you beat Scientist Naoko. Aha! That made a light bulb go on in my head. And you got $1,392 for winning. Okay. And she says, when a person moves, electric signals travel in the body. Also, when a person has an inspiration, electric signals travel to the brain. All right, so go down the stairs like the triad said, or go past it and see if there's anything past it. I was going to say, like, you don't need to move for electricity to be moving throughout your body. <laughs> like, that's how it's alive and working. <laughs> okay. But then she said if you have inspiration. That's right. Which means you don't have to move. That's right. So let's go down the hole. We are down the hole. And we immediately run into a wild Joltik again. Okay. Level 25. We've got Daramaka level 31. Joltik's unnerve made our team too nervous to eat berries. What? <laughs> this this Joltik's ability is unnerve, and it makes you too nervous to eat berries. But berries are good for you. Uh-huh. But you're too unnerved to do it by this Joltik. You're not supposed to burn a tick. I know they've said that in the past. That's true, you're not. You're not supposed to. Wow, two more steps. It's a wild... Tynamo. Level 27. What would you like to do to this Tynamo? Okay, let's strength it. Okay. So I guess not catching it then? Bye. What do you mean, why? Charge beam hits. You take 10. Its special attack rises. It mi Strength misses. Oh. Okay, so why can't I use strength? Because you're going to kill it. So what should I use? A different Pokemon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's not fair. What type do you think this is? Water and electric. So you, you might be able to get away with fire punch because it will be not very effective. It is, like, crazy boosted and stuff, but you might be able to get away with Fire Punch. It's your call. That's if I'm right about it being water. Correct. Which I'm not totally sure about. Okay. I mean, nothing else in here is water, right? That you've seen? Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Fine, let's just do it. Do what? Fire punch. Tynamo used Thunder Wave and paralyzed your Darumaka. Use Fire Punch. It hits. It does faint, and it did not say it was not very effective. You gain 256. Maybe it's just an electric type. Uh... So confused. I thought you're right. It is just an electric type. Damn it. Okay. 
I genuinely thought it was both. What the hell? Leave it in the comments. Why did I think it was both? Uh, anyway. It's a fucking tadpole. Yeah. Why would it be a tadpole and only be electric? That doesn't make sense. Do you want to use a paralyzed heal for that paralysis? Ugh. You don't have to. I'm just asking. How many could... do we have? Are we still too nervous to eat berries? Do we no. have a berry for it? It's just during that fight. Uh, you have four paralyzed heals and two cherry berries. Let's eat a cherry berry. Darumaka was cured of paralysis. Now, that being said, uh, Darumaka, now level 31. Does it stay up top or switch with somebody? No, we're going to switch with somebody. And who are we switching with? Um, Pig Knight and Skolopede are your other two level 30s. Simisage is level 31. Let's <clears throat> use Pig Knight. I really want Pig Knight to be uh, the highest level of everybody. Okay. Either the same as the highest people or um, higher than the highest people. Because okay. it's Pig Knight. And who do you want in the second slot? Because it looks like we might have a double battle coming up. Scolipede, please. You got it. Yay. First, a wild... Boldor. Now this one you could catch if you want. Yay. Let's do that. Okay, with what move? Um, well, let's see. Um... I don't want to use arm thrust. Arm thrust isn't great, though, if I recall. Depends on how many times you hit. And you're six levels stronger. <clears throat> oh. Take down. Okay. It'll be not very effective, but I mean, that's kind of what you're going for. Right? Yeah. So, okay. Sounds good to me. Take down hits. And does that much. It's not very effective. You take five points of recoil damage. It used iron defense and raised its defense plus two. Okay. Mm, maybe flame charge, because it's a rock, so like it probably won't do a lot. Let's so, see. fire against rock. Not very effective, okay. Right, but this is also a physical move and it just gave itself plus two defense, so that's your call. You want to do flame charge? You are charcoal boosted, so maybe it'll help. Yeah. Okay. Flame charge. Hits. Does less than the takedown did, but it's after the uh, iron defense. Rock blast against your fire type. Hit three times. It is not super effective, I guess because of your fighting type. Mm. Okay. Uh... Yeah, let's um, let's do takedown again. I just don't want a ton of recoil. Sure, it missed. Rock blast. One, two, hit twice. It's doing about twelve damage each time. This sucks, dick. All right. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, let's try that one more time. I think. It hits. Does very little. Not very effective. You're hit with recoil. It used iron defense again. It's at plus four defense oh, now. Come on. Fine. Let's switch out. Two? I don't know, man. <sighs> Who is neutral? Um... Scolipede. Pig Knight comes out. Scolipede comes in. Boldor used Smackdown. Super effective. What will we do? Bug Bite. Please Hits. Live. It definitely lives. Oh, it's, at, it's at plus four defense. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. You're still alive somehow. It hit <laughs> twice. Super effective. Okay. 
Fight, well, switch, ball. What are we feeling? Uh. Uh. We are we fast enough to get off one more bug? Thing? We attacked first last time. Okay. So unless it's a speed tie and you get screwed over, you should be able to do this. Yeah. Okay. You are faster. Bug bite hits. There you go. Okay. Iron defense. Your Pokemon's still alive. And it is now at the full plus six defense. Let's throw a Pokeball. Regular Pokeball? Uh, I think so. I don't know. It's up to you? Yeah. Okay. Pokeball? One, two, three. Ooh. I won't lie to you. I did not have a lot of faith in that no, working. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, congratulations. You caught a Bulldor. Thank you. Bulldor's data was added to the Pokedex. Bulldor is the ore Pokemon. It's a rock type. It is two foot 11, but weighs 224 Point nine pounds. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> when it overflows with power, the orange crystal on its body glows. It looks for underground water in caves. Oh. Okay. Well, you now have the evolved form of Roggenrola and Roggenrola. Uh, this is what your team looks like. How do we feel? Uh, like we need to go to the center. <laughs> okay, we dig our way out of the cave. Do we want to check out your bull door at the center? Yeah. Okay. So, we leave Charge Stone Cave. There's still this whole gauntlet. Oh god, damn it! I got caught in the grass. And there was shaking grass, too. Anyway, it's Tranquil versus Pig Knight. That's not ideal, either, because you're fighting type. Um, but you do have rollout if you want. But Yeah. But, okay. Um, does about half. It used air cutter, though. Yeah, no. You're still alive somehow. Wow. And you kill it with a rollout. Okay. Nicely done. Again, didn't love have it. a lot of faith in that. No, but me neither, but I'm I love it. Glad it worked out for you. Uh, 429. Ugh, come on. It's a wild deerling. That's a lot better for you. Yeah, but we're like dead. <laughs> yeah, but if you kill it in one, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, I guess. All right, so what do, uh, flame charge? You are faster. And you do kill in one, super effective. Awesome. Your speed boosts, but irrelevant. Deerling faints. Pignut gain 209. Yeah. Wow. What the fuck? Oh, come on. Wow. Okay. Can we run? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, let's just run. You got it. Couldn't get away. Oh. Air cutter, you're dead. We're going to the center anyway. Correct. We still got all that other experience. I'm fine with it. Correct. Couldn't get away. Have to send somebody else in. Who is it? Oh, so stupid. Weak to flying, weak to flying, or not weak to flying? Darmaka then. <laughs> uh, still try to run or fight it? Fight it. What do we do? Uh, let's see. What's good? Nothing. Uh... Pretty much. <laughs> uh, fire punch. Because I like punching this thing in the face with a flaming fist. Too bad it used detect. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Try again. Yeah. It used roost, but its HP is full. Fire punch. It ain't roost so much as it is roast. Very nice. Very good <laughs> joke. <laughs> God damn, well, that was I good. Liked it. You had that in your back pocket? That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I think your standards are just maybe a little low. I disagree. That was fantastic. Leave it in the comments again. If you think it was a good joke like I do, tell Amy. It's a fungus. 
You have Scolipede. Eat it. Eat it? You're at 15. Uh, bug Bite? Yeah. Hits. Kills in one. <laughs> Ate it. Scolipede gained 242. Okay. And we made it out of the grass. <laughs> By some fucking miracle. Holy <laughs> crap, man. That was ridiculous. It really was. Wow. All right, well. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if in the rest of the time that we have left in the episode, if we can at least make it back to where we just left the cave from. Because <laughs> we don't have, you know, we don't have all the time in the world, and it takes really long time to get back there. Uh, all right, we are through. Because yeah, I guess for most of it, we can't use our bike, right? For the cave, you can. It's just that you'll run into a lot more Pokemon, but... Oh. Although, I guess I stand corrected somewhat, because that was not a lot. It's Deerling. Your top Pokemon is Dwebble. Oh. Which is good. <clears throat> I completely forgot that. Yeah, I know. We we lost a lot of Pokemon along the way. Bug Bite finishes it in one. Super effective. Deerling faints. Dwebble game. about the friends we gained along <sighs> the way, though. Yeah, like that Boldor that we forgot to check out while we were at the center. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so worried about not making it back. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, everybody. We'll do it later. <laughs> it's was, whatever. Was there a world where you might have wanted to add it to your team? Probably not. Okay. I didn't think so, but I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to assume. It's not my call. Sure. So. Um, okay. It's no dwebble. I mean, come on. That's true. Oh, God. Really? That's the other reason why I don't use the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's another People Carablast. stand in our way. I mean, sure, and or the wall or tree or rock or anything else that I just decide to constantly bonk into over and over and over again. It used Endure so that it lives this attack. <clears throat> and guess what? It lives this attack. Super effective. Endure fails, thank you. Can't use it twice in a row. And Carablast faints. 246 for Dwebble. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, Dwebble did not take a point of damage coming here, so we can <laughs> just keep going. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, you got some pretty good Pokemon there, Amy. What can I tell you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I love them. What can I say? <laughs> it's a wild clink. This one you'll have trouble with with Dwebble, though. Yeah. Got to switch out, and who are we? We're switching to Krakorok. That's what we've been doing with this thing. Oh, well, let's switch to, um... Oh, okay, yeah. No, that's fine. Okay. So, Dwebble comes out. Krakorok comes in. Um... Gear Grind. Oh, my God. That did a lot more damage than I was expecting it to. Hit twice. Okay. Alrighty. Let's bulldoze. Sounds good to me. It hits, and it does not finish it off. It's super what? effective, and its speed fell, and it uses Gear Grind. Well. Hit twice. You are still alive, technically. Jesus. Okay. And you're faster. Uh, well, let's just bite. Makes sense to me. Oh, no, it's not very effective. Clink fainted. Moxie boost is irrelevant. We could have broken our tooth on that thing. <laughs> uh, do we want to heal Croc Rock or just keep going? Heal, please. All right, so it's down by like 70 something, so we could use a lemonade for 80 if you want. Yeah. Oh, it's here. My bad. Oh, I like lemonade. Do you guys like lemonade? Leave it in the comments. We've, we've talked about this in the past. I was uh, allergic to citrus for many, many years. So for many years, I didn't drink lemonade. I, I can say I am now no longer allergic to citrus, but I, I don't have a taste for citrus fruits. Yeah. <clears throat> Even the, like, sweetest citrus fruits. Yeah, because I have I definitely have a, a big sweet tooth. He but hates it. I, I, just, I just don't have a taste for it. It's very strange. We're too nervous to eat berries, Amy. Uh, rock slide or smackdown? You don't have a taste for berries much either. It depends on the berry, but yeah, you are you're almost all like for most berries, you're correct. 
But that wasn't because he was already tried. That's just because he didn't like me. It's true. All right. Let's um rock slide the jolt tech. It hits. It's dead. Super effective. Jolt tech faints. You get 273 for Dwebble. Um, okay. Oh, thank God. A little bit more exacting movement, but it worked, and we run into a wild Joltik again. Level 25. Dwebble is back out. We're going to keep leveling up this Dwebble. This is great. Rock slide. Gastro acid. Oh no, our ability. Yucky. <laughs> it spit up its gastric juices all over us. 273. One more of those should do it. Uh, we'll go this way. And we run into a wild Joltik again. <laughs> it's so rude to vomit on your opponent. Yeah, it really is. I mean, to be I fair... Like sportsman like Oh, I was going to say, to be fair, what an intimidation tactic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it just couldn't control it, you know? Sometimes that happens. You're fighting somebody, and your stomach gets a little jostled, and... Up, check. <laughs> you are now level 30. Nice! There are your pluses. Okay, okay. 78 HP, 59 attack, 57 defense... 29 special attack, 26 special defense, and 41 speed. All right. Um, wow. God, really? All right, fine. It's a wild Joltik again. I wonder what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, eventually run out of rock slides is the answer to your question. So we'll just do a Smackdown then. <laughs> now or after we run out? After we run out. You got it. Rock slide hits. Joltik faints. Super effective. Dwebble gain 262. I'm going to get off the bike for this little bit. No, don't stop. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Did we check over in that little corner area for items or something? I don't. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I think we did, actually. Oh! It's another drill burr. Oh! Been a bit. <laughs> well, because they're only in the dust clouds. Spoilers, I guess. Ooh, um, oh. This is, again, just ground type. Do we want to do anything with Dwebble or Switch? Switch. Two. Two Simmersley. Whoops. You got it. Dwebble comes out. Simisage comes in. I wonder what we'll do, Amy. Uh, Metal Claw does 11 damage to us. Oh, wow. He tried cutting the grass and it really didn't uh, work there. But the Vine Whip does finish it off in one. Super effective. 119 for Simisage, 124 for Dwebble. Wow. And we keep going and we run into a wild clink okay which means we can switch to crocorock who has been healed up i was like but it's only at five health but no we healed it that's what the lemonade was for dwebble comes out crocorock comes in we can attempt to bulldoze these gears after they use gear grind on us again yay jesus so annoying. Does 16 every time? That's crazy. <clears throat> okay, bulldoze. Does not finish it off again. Super effective, though. Speed what falls. Fuck? It's okay. It tried to use Thundershock, but it didn't affect us. Oh, sorry. You said use Bite last time. I apologize. Yeah, that's fine. But you finish it off. Super effective again. Clink faints. Moxie boost. Irrelevant. Because it's a wild Pokemon. But you get 128 and Dwebble gets 123. Yay! Back across the bridge where the triad took us. Ooh, we're gonna have a fight on this dangerous bridge. It's a clink. Guys, don't fight on bridges. Yeah. Preferably. Yeah. Uh, why Not the safe spot. <laughs> Correct. Dwebble comes out. 
Krakorok comes in. By the way, I was right. We did not get back to that spot before the end of the episode. No, I'm sure Technically. Not. But it's fine. We're obviously still here. All right. We're hurt by bind. We get hit by bind. We'll bulldoze. Okay, this is a higher level clink, by the way. Yes. Thundershock doesn't affect us again. What attack will we use this time? Bite. It does finish it off. I was actually a little worried about that. Uh, but it's... I wasn't. <laughs> uh, clearly. And you were right to be not worried about it. 151 for Krokorok, 145 for Dwebble. One more like that, and Krokorok will level up. We do have the black glasses. Yes, that's yeah. true. Good point. Very good point. So we wear our sunglasses at night. <laughs> it's another Bulldor. Okay. It's not night, but it is dark in here. I mean, you're in a cave, yeah. All right, so uh, nothing will be... In fact, this is all going to be not very effective, I think, against Bulldor. Yeah. Do you want to switch? Yeah. To whom would we like to switch? Um, we could have done... Mm, we could have done the dark type move on it, but that's fine. You can still if you want. No, I really don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, let's, I mean, I don't really want to use Simisage. I guess we could use Pig Knight. Sure, for the fighting. Yeah. You got it. Dwebble comes out. Pig Knight comes in. Boldor used Rock Blast. Does 12 each time again. Well, that didn't exactly do 12 the third time, but still. Arm thrust. One. Ooh. Two. Crit. Three. Finishes it off. Without that crit, you would have been kind of screwed, but... We're that slapping it. Crit worked in your favor. 257 and 257. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, here goes that. Yeah, we're still not even to the stairs yet. Uh, it's Clink. Clinky dink. Which means Krokorok is going to have to try again to survive, right? Or we can put Pig Knight in. It's up to you. And use the fire. Okay. Dwebble comes out. Pig Knight comes in. Yeah, maybe we just leave Pig Knight at the front. Oh, okay. Uh, we avoided the gear grind, by the way, that it tried to hit us with. And Flame Charge hits and finishes it off in one. Great. Level 27 Clink goes down to a Flame Charge. 145, 145. Okay. All right, so we'll switch Pig Knight to the front, you said? Yes. Okay. Um, down the stairs. Haha! -ha. All right, uh, this we is have. So cool with this like cavern underneath the like walkway. Sure. Um, we can use a. Let's see, a super potion, which we have four of, or a fresh water, which we have twelve of. We were trying to finish off the super potions, right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to use this on Crocorock so that it can be part of this double battle? Yes. Okay, and then. Um, you're like 34 points down on Pig Knight. Do you want to use anything for that or just let it be A like regular that? potion. Okay. So then it'll only be 14 down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we use a regular potion on Pig Knight. And I guess we can, uh, finish off this episode with this double battle. Yeah. Fight these guys. Hi, we're the Nugget Brothers. I'm the big brother, and I'm the little brother of the Nugget Brothers. Glad you showed up. I want to give you this. You got a nugget. A nugget. A chicken nugget. <laughs> I want to give you this too. You got a nugget. We have two fucking nuggets? It's like $10,000. That's a lot of money. <coughs> and it wasn't a double battle. That's a nugget. How to get so golden without deep frying? Trade secret. So it is chicken. <laughs> Nugget about it. That one's dumb. <laughs>
Uh, are we going to the left or up the stairs? Chicken nugget one was funny. <laughs> stairs. Okay. Are we up here already? I don't know. No. Oh. To the to the right, up to the left, or up in the middle? To the right. Oh, thank God. If you like, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. Oh, thanks. However, let me challenge you to a battle first. Okay. So, just like the nurse in Pinwheel Forest, yeah. you fought her, and then every other time you talk to her after, she heals your Pokemon. So now you're challenged by Dr. Wayne with one Pokemon, Swadloon. He was listening to a Pokeball. He sure was. <laughs> okay. With his stethoscope. Okay. What will we do against this Swadloon? Clean charge, please. Just because it's four times weak to fire, okay, doesn't mean you got to kill him that hard just so he'll heal your Pokemon. But really, though, super effective, and you finish it in one. Nicely done. Okay. 1,115 experience for that. What? Did my Pokemon lose energy? You got $1,740 for winning. And then he says, Now, as I promised, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. <sighs> to make Pokemon healthy, doctors go where they're needed. And now, even though it's not a Pokemon Center, your Pokemon did just get healed, the sound did just happen, and so, uh, as if we are like... I was going to say, as if we are like Pavlov, uh, we are going to end the episode as soon as we've <laughs> heard that sound and healed our Pokemon. It's like we've started salivating for the episode to end. Uh, <laughs> Ew. <laughs> this cave is uh, something else, huh? We'll use our gastric juices. Yes, our gastro it. acid. <laughs> to suppress the doctor's ability? You don't want to do that. <laughs> no, That's a terrible idea. I don't. Um, so, hey, I mean, you've caught a couple of new Pokemon, right? Uh, you've seen a number of new Pokemon. And uh, we've gotten through some of this cave. We don't even know. It's Is it like 2% of the cave or like 95% of the cave? No way to know. Uh, you do know that Team Plasma is waiting for you here somewhere. Um, because the N told you and the triad was walking you through and saying that they're around here. But you don't know where. Um, so. All right. So there's a chance it could be 2%, but no chance it could be skim. <laughs> it might be slim. <laughs> Not skim, though. Slim pickings. <laughs> uh. Slim to none. Uh, so that <laughs> that is going to be the end of this particular episode. Because we're definitely... I'm, I'm liking the levels that we have here. I, I mean, they I look can't, pretty good. Yeah, I can't disagree with you there. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Yeah, I mean, I don't love Dwebble's HP, but like, mm. you know, he's got a rocky helmet. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's three points away from Croc Rocks. Oh, and five points yeah. away from Scolipedes. Fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's fine, though. I get it. Um... But Crocorog, I'm still going to try to level here. Oh, of course. In fact, do you want Crocorog up front for next time? Yeah. Right. We'll switch Crocorog to the front. Um, that's good. And now you have them all in uh, level order, which I always appreciate. Uh, but And instead of doing a double battle, we have two fucking nuggets. <laughs> that was insane. Uh, I totally forgot about that. That was great. We are loaded as hell in this game. <laughs> yep. I mean, I feel like it's every game, but... Yeah, but this one, I feel like especially so. It, yeah. it depends. But yeah. Um, so congratulations, Amy. We're, we're this far. Uh, obviously, we'll be back next week with more, everybody. So... Please make sure that you are subscribed and you have that bell rung because then you will get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including the continuation of this series next week. Don't forget, we also have other series on this channel, so you should check those out and other channels. Links down in the description box below for our Magic the Gathering channel, Geek for All. And Gluten Free for All. Uh, and then also, please don't forget, you can check the links down below for our socials as well. And uh, likes and shares here on YouTube go a very long way and we really do appreciate any and all support that you are all willing to give but for now from us here at the geek for all family of channels i've been joe and i'm amy and as we always say in whichever video of ours you watch next we will see you all next time thanks everybody <laughs>